So hello and welcome to Gilead's Sword and Sorcery Sketchbook pre-Kickstarter, pre-video launch teaser video. That's what it is. And before I get into any of that, I just want to say, I'll, first of all, I'm going to I'm going to start positive, and I'm going to say, I have never, ever had a bad experience with the post office. As far as I know, everything I've ever mailed has arrived. Everything that's ever been mailed to me has arrived. Nothing has ever been damaged. But wouldn't you know, the one and only time in my life that I order, that I buy some original art off of somebody, that's how I got it. <laughs> oh, a whole quarter of, a, of an envelope just torn away. It was in a plastic bag with a note from the post office acknowledging their screw-up and saying, uh, we hope this doesn't cause you too much of a problem. Um, and, uh, well, it is too much of a problem. I don't know what to do about it, but uh, it, this really, really sucks that this happened because uh, this is a wonderful little sketch by Bob Eggleton who uh, is a big name in science fiction and fantasy illustration. And uh, <clears throat> he was hired, I don't know by whom, to do uh, a cover. And he did a number of thumbnail sketches. His thumbnails are apparently larger than, you know, it, for many people, a thumbnail is a very small size uh a mock-up and uh but uh, i do much larger thumbnails and so do other people um so this was one of several he shared one version of a different version of it on his page and said that the uh that the client had rejected it because of the sexual exploitation it didn't, it didn't like the sexual exploitation. Okay. Um, so that caused a big reaction and everything. It, apparently somebody had already bought that particular sketch. And because uh, I asked him about it, I wanted that particular sketch. This one is also nice. Not as nice. You know, I just, I liked the other one better. Um, um, they're both nice. And this one's, you know, just a little bit damaged. Uh, okay. Back in, I believe it was actually 2014. So that was years ago. Um, I did a Kickstarter. It's the only Kickstarter I've ever done. And uh, my goal was to make coloring books. Gilead's goblins, coloring books. And I had never made a book of any kind before. And I, in fact, made six. I don't have six anymore, but I, I in fact, made six coloring books. And um, just to... Uh, just to blow my own horn just a little bit, I mean, it, people have said, well, you had a successful Kickstarter because um, because it funded and you delivered, you know, you made the product and you delivered it. So in that respect, yes, it was a successful Kickstarter and uh, a very worthwhile experience. Um, I... I did make a pile of mistakes, but before I get into that, for a person to come out with any kind of a book and wind up in the black the first time they ever go out the door, you know, with with this kind of an idea, whether it's a comic book or a or a novel or a, or something, um, you know, self-published, something you don't have a publisher for. Um, to wind up in the black is virtually not heard of. 
Okay, it's not <laughs> we're, I'm not, we're not the only people in the world to have ever done it, but we're nearly the only people in the world to have ever done it. I mean, if you find uh, literally a million people who have published their own book, one of them uh, wound up in the black. Um, I was stupid enough to do six books as one project, which was six times too much work. Plus, I had the entire thing done um, before deciding that, you know, this guy floating in the middle of a blank white page was too boring and I needed to go in and uh, and do all this background stuff. So I did background stuff. So uh, bits and pieces of it were recyclable, but largely, um, largely I pretty much doubled the project. So uh, I close to doubled the project after after launching and after after uh, getting all my pledges and 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 it was a go. Um, I added at least another four books worth of work on top of. So it was as if I did ten books. Um, we also had some misunderstandings about the page counts, as I remember, and I wound up doing at least two extra pages, maybe, yeah, at least two extra pages for each book. So um, the, the book was more than what I committed to uh, on a number of levels. And we still actually printed the books, delivered to all of our pledges, um, did a second printing, went to a variety of conventions and art shows and stuff like that and sold and got money back and wound up in the black enough to go out and buy a calzone um, when all was said and done. Um, that is, um, quite seriously, that is virtually unheard of in the world um, that that anybody could do a project like that and uh, and not be upside down for the next 10 years <laughs> you know trying to pay off uh, that debt so in that respect wildly successful in the respect of you know what I was hoping for was to be in the business of making books from now on, you know, that was eight years ago. Um, you know, I'm just going to make books from now on. That's what I'm going to do. Um, and I did not fund you know, in that respect, I did not, um, do it right because I, I charged too little for the books. I said free shipping. Um, you know, so, I mean, we virtually broke even on, on all of that when, by the time we, uh, well, we made enough money to do a second printing. We did do that. Um, but uh, we did not come out wildly ahead uh, like, we, like we thought we would, and we did not stay in business. And the whole idea of the Kickstarter is to kickstart a business, you know, get get the business running, get it rolling. So um, that was successful and unsuccessful depending on how you choose to look at it. So I do know some things. I do have some knowledge, some learning, of, you know, that I, things that I've done wrong. Um, and then a year ago, I did this project again with the intention of doing more. Um, this is the Gilead Sword and Sorcery sketchbook. And this is what my new Kickstarter is going to be about. I want to do more of these sketchbooks. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, um, with my usual program here, I um, very often start with a new drawing, much like this, and do something to it until it, much, it looks more like that. So to turn it into a, a sketch from a life drawing class and turn it into fantasy art. And there's a lot of that in this book. I'm going to flip the pages, but keep my eye on the computer screen so I can see that I, um, I'm showing you something. 
And so that's what my original book was about. And it kind of shows you the process. And I talk about what I was thinking, what made me make those choices and that sort of thing. And um, there are, in some cases, gratuitous amounts of nudity, which is off-putting to some people. And also, um, okay, I've made that point. I've told that story. I've made that point about how, you know, this guy was holding a broomstick, you know, standing in a life drawing class and holding a broomstick in, and he looked like, to me, like he was sword fighting. Maybe to other people, he looked like uh, he was doing yard work or something. I don't know. But, um, so I turned it into a piece of fantasy art, and uh, I present that in that book. Okay. I put together another 12 books on my computer and then took a, a long, hard look at it again and said, I, I don't know. It looks, it feels to me like I'm saying the same thing repeatedly. Um you know, I don't know how much interest there is in seeing book after book that shows my process of nude life drawing with costumes added and more costumes added until you have a, a, a fantasy piece. Maybe there's more interest in that. Um, I'm going to play it by ear, but my next one is just going to be more finished sketches. It's more about where, where we wind up. And what's going on in my head about the fantasy world that is building in my head, the sort of world building. Um, you know, I'm not much of an author. I don't write much in terms of stories. But there's there's a thing that's uh, taking shape in my brain. And I want to make a book that explains and talks about that. Um, several. And so we're going to do more of these books. Um this has 44 pages, so book two will also have 44 pages and be black and white. However, as we go along um, and, and go up tier levels, uh, you have that in Kickstarter. You have, um, you have the guy that you know, your your basic tier is you ordered a book, okay, and you'll get one. Prices on everything have gone up, and I haven't gone and gotten a, a statement from my printer as to what my printing costs are going to be this time around. So I'm not even going to talk about pricing just yet. Um, <clears throat> but this is going to be on the cover, um, like the other one. Like the other one, you know, so it'll be in a in a frame and and with the the title, um, it's going to be in black and white. If there's a lot of pledges, that means there's a lot of money coming in, which means I can start upgrading the product. So we could turn that into a color cover, and that will be a thing uh, that we'll do, or we'll even start adding pages. You know, so instead of being a 44-page book, it might be a 48-page book. It might be a 50-page book. It, okay, so we could um, we could even switch to a glue binding instead of the, the staple binding. Um, this is all upgrades. I'm going to get my I'm going to get the quote for that, and and uh, that'll be something we can upgrade to and work to. Um, Tiers, however, are you know levels. Uh, so at a basic level, you order a book. Um, the next tier up uh, might be, um, you know, there might be one where you say, "Look, I I want the book, and I want, yeah, uh, you know, I want the new book plus the old book because uh, I never got book one." Okay, so you know, there's another price level. You might say, I want the new book, I want the old book, and I want one of your old coloring books. Okay? So um, that's there's limited volume. I only have maybe 
six or seven of these uh, of each of these. Um, so those will be things that we can do little packages. And um, also, I'm thinking of having a print made of this, but that will be eight and a half by eleven paper, so it will fit in the same envelope, be the same size of the book, but it won't have the title on it, just be the the paint. So um, that would be something you can frame and put on the wall. So those sorts of things for tiers, um, and then quite possibly at a very high level tier, like a thousand dollars, you get the book plus the original painting um, is sent to you. So something like that. We are not sure about any of the pricing or the shipping costs or whatever. Um, I'm just pitching the whole idea out there right now and saying this is something that I plan to do and I um, I plan to share this video in more places than I'm typically sharing it. Uh, for one thing, I'm going to put it on my Patreon. Um, Patreon.com slash Gilead capitalized. Um, if you're not on my Patreon, please join my Patreon and, and uh, contribute a dollar a month. Um, I don't. I, I've got a few people that contribute a lot more than that, and uh, I certainly appreciate them. Um, but uh, you know, I I would rather have uh, you know twenty thousand people giving me a dollar a month uh, than uh, than to have one person giving me twenty thousand a month. But I won't complain if you want to give me twenty thousand. Um, but it just feels more stable <laughs> to have a lot of people that way. You know, I mean, uh, there's a lot of people out there who love to do the Patreon thing and they'll just, you know, they'll say, yeah, I can do $20 a month, for, you know, I can afford that. So they'll pick people, they'll, they'll pick 20 people and they'll support them for a while and then they'll withdraw their support from those people and, and support some other people. And I think that's great. That's, that's perfectly fine. So um, having people come and go doesn't alarm or upset me. Um, but if, if they were like a high dollar contributor and <laughs> came and went, that would, that would bite. Um, uh, talking like this makes me very thirsty. Um, I'm going to acknowledge my patrons right now, whether they like it or not, because they didn't tell me not to. So I want to give a shout out and a huge thank you to Linda McCurry, Sam Pont. I'm going to say some of these names wrong. Also, I apologize. Um, Reed Sisson, David Perlmutter, Sissy Vanden Handel, Bill Mullins, Mike Cook, Brianne Campbell, Figment of Your Imagination. Yeah, that's a real guy. Um, Yvonne Navarro, Evan Nichols, Stellar Miller, Sharon Clark, Sharon Moore, and John, Jacinia Frost. Nancy Davis, Venron, Wendy Shaw, Emily Tujan, Jenny Shea, Sue Goodijan, Julie Keel, Doug Miller, and Michael Milosevic. Um, those are in the order in which I found them on my on my site. All of you people, um, you you make so much of a difference to me, and I really really appreciate everything you've done. Um, and so. Uh, I would love it if you could come join my Patreon. I would love it if you would help me get my books printed. Um, so the idea is to do a book for every one of these paintings that I've finished and, of course, to be working on more paintings and do a book for them. But, of course, the book's contents aren't, aren't going to be just about this painting. They're going to be uh, all the sketches that we've been working on lately so you'll have a, a permanent um, physical copy of the best uh, the best ones there's some that just didn't come out we're not going to put those in the book but uh, so that is my plan that's the thing that we're doing and um, I see so far that Stellar and Evan and John are here excellent Hopefully you won't be the only three people to see this, but it's a good test drive 
for my uh, for my pitch. Um, I just kind of want to put it out there so that people know I'm I'm doing this thing and uh, get a little bit of of thing going. Um, I'd like to be I'd like to officially launch my Kickstarter on the first of August and uh, run it for a month and uh, see what happens. So yeah, each one will have the will have the different painting on the cover. There'll be some process pictures uh, for how we got to that painting, plus a bunch of other sketches. And I would like to, you know, as each individual book, uh, you know, if it gets more support, then then yeah, let's uh, let's expand it and let's make it into a bigger book. I also want to know from people what uh, you know, you know if, how how you feel. Like, um, hey, I don't I don't want to see any more nudity in that. By the way, um, with all of these, if if nipples and butt cheeks are going to bother you, this is not your book. Just forget about it. <laughs> um, but uh, if if you're if you're like no no nudity i can't have that or if you're like yeah more nudity you know give me a, a book that's entirely gratuitous porn um you know what i could do that um and i don't have to do the i don't have to go do the artwork i mean i could do that out of that stack of paper <laughs> that's behind me um so you know yes we could do that um if you if you said no, I, I really like the illustrative ones, the ones where there's really something going on, or you say no, I, I'd like to see uh, one that was just all sort of pinupy stuff, you know the um, you know the pretty girls in the in the cool costume and and all that kind of thing. I can do a book like that. If you want to say no, uh, um, I don't care about this stuff, you know, do do a book of octopuses or something. Okay, and this is this is a possibility okay so um you know some people are definitely going to say do more coloring books this is also a possibility but it's not a possibility if i don't have funding because <laughs> i've got to uh I, I've, I've just got to start making money off my art i've been doing art for a long long time and making almost no money i really really appreciate the kickstarter money but um you know so far that's a small amount of money that doesn't go very far so um yeah we've got to have funding we've got to keep the roof over our heads <laughs> um and uh and keep this thing going so um that may be about all i've got for now sorry for the lack of sketching um there will be more there will be sketching tomorrow but I will continuously and possibly obnoxiously talk about Patreon and Kickstarter for some time. And, uh, and I'd like to, you know, if, if that project funds and, and everything works, um, I'd like to make sure that we keep it rolling and, and that, uh, you know, perhaps, Perhaps I'll reach a time when I think, oh no, it's, there's no point in doing a Kickstarter. I'll just do, I'll just make my damn books. You know, I got plenty of money to print. I'll just make my books. Um, but I, I think um, there's a lot of people out there who are just not going to see it if it's not on Kickstarter. And so I, I, I would like to reach those people. I'd like to, to be putting it out there in front of those people. Another one of the things that we need to pay for is. Uh, a proper website, a place that people can go to and uh, and buy stuff. So and so we can have an inventory remaining there and stuff. So there's a number of things that we need to do. And uh, and these Kickstarter these these books are going to hopefully help to fund those things. So there'll be not just this Kickstarter, but a number of Kickstarters in the future. Um, we hope. <laughs> this is assuming assuming it works out well and there's still an interest. Okay. Um, this has been Gilead's Not So Much of a Sketchbook Live, um, although we're talking about sketchbooks. And uh, I'm going to be back tomorrow at 3 o'clock.
o'clock, and uh, hope to see you there. Thank you, guys.